Welcome to Pentair's Tech Tips. Today the topic is what are the input and output on the drive capable of, how they are connected, and finally programmed to achieve what we wish the drive to do. So let us dive right in. So where are the inputs on the Pentair IntelliDrive? They are in line with the input power and motor connections. They are the three connections as seen here in the photo. What is an input or output? Good question. An input tells the drive to do something. From the factory input and output are unprogrammed, but can be programmed to run, fault, or run at a secondary pressure depending on how you program the input and what is connected. An output tells the observer what the drive has done or to do something when the programming calls for the relay to close. Remember from the factory the relay is not programmed but can be programmed to fault or run. Diving deeper into the input and output, it is important to understand all three are digital, meaning there is a signal or there is not a signal. On or off? Is there an analog input and what does analog mean? Well, to answer the first question, yes, the transducer input plugged into the AI plus and minus connections. To answer the second question, what is an analog signal? It is a range. A good example again is the transducer that reads pressure from 0 to 100 pounds of pressure and anywhere in between. So, as we see here when the input sees voltage it will run, galt, and run the pump at a secondary set pressure. And the output that reacts to how it is programmed. Closing the relay to pass the signal to a device hooked up to the output. So how much of a signal is needed? For the inputs, it is only looking for voltage, not amperage, voltage, be it 24 volt alternating current 115 or 230. Why no amperage? Because there is nothing to run. Remember the input tells the drive program what to do. The output can as well take the same range of voltage, but if limited on how many amps as you see here. More importantly, no inrush current meaning no motors, say a dosing pump can be connected. So, what can be connected? A simple alarm, a light, or a magnetic relay or pump start relay. Here we see a simple 24 volt connection to an input. Following the flow, the control we wish to use is connected to V+. Going right to left the voltage travels down the wire to the control shown open here. When the control closes the voltage flows to the input, in this case input 1 plus side. Now to complete the circuit a wire or jumper is connect to input 1 negative. The other end of the jump wire is connected to V negative and completes the circuit. Now that is only half of the setup. Now we need to answer a simple question. When the control completes the circuit to the input passing the voltage, what do we want the drive to do? Here is a very typical control. Our water detection safety. This unit is placed on the floor to detect a potential water leak. When water creates a bridge completing the circuit, we want the IntelliDrive to. Well, in this case, I would want the control to turn off the pump. We connect the safety now to program the drive. To do so, you may need to enter the password. This can be found in the owner's manual unless it has been modified. Once unlocked, go into the main menu by pressing the menu key. A row key up or down until you find I slash O and press enter. Next scroll until you see what you are programming. In this case, we connected the control to input 1 and press enter. Now we want we pump to stop pumping when the current is present. So, we would use the external fault setting. And with that we have connected an input and programmed it and are ready to test run the control. Here we are using a C voltage being used to signal the drive to do what is programmed. And depending on what the control is we need to program what the drive will do. For this example, let us look at a float switch. The control we are using is a normally open switch here. This is a good way to protect the pump if pulling from a tank or cistern. 
When the cistern is full of water, the float will arrive to the point that the points will close, passing voltage. This can be referred to as a run command. Why would I use a run command? Often this is a condition that could correct itself and rather than setting the input to fault requiring the system to be reset a run command will only let the pump work when the input sees the signal voltage. We know the cistern has a fixed amount of water. As it is consumed the level goes down. If the level gets low enough the switch opens the points the input no longer sees the voltage and will stop. But now fault. Once the water level returns in the cistern the float rises. Re-establishing the voltage and the unit will begin running again automatically. So, remember for an input, what is the control designated to do? Is it a run command, a safety to turn off the pump, PR may be a signal to run at a different pressure. Once connected, do not forget to program the input and cycle the safety a few times to ensure the input is in fact controlling the pump as desired. Let us now turn our attention to the output relay. Remember the output relay tells us what the drive did or is doing. And for the IntelliDrive this relay when programmed will close when it is running or when the drive has faulted. This image shows the use of the 24 volt power supply connected to a simple light. Perhaps for a remote monitoring station. It is important to note the onboard power supply can only support one connection input or output. So, if you are using a water safety connected to the input connection you would have to use an alternative power supply for other connections. Programming as you see here is the same pathway used to program the input we stepped through earlier. Enter the password if needed. Press the menu key and arrow key up or down to the I slash O menu and hit enter. Scroll till output is displayed and hit enter. Now again, what do you want to know about the drive? Run or fault. And this controls the relay closing allowing the voltage to pass and energize something. A light, a buzzer, or maybe a magnetic or pump relay. A typical output is a warning light as diagrammed here. So, when programmed and wired correctly for a fault when the drive goes into a fault condition and stops the programmed relay will close passing voltage to the light giving an excellent visual that the drive is in a fault condition. Wow, that was a quick overview. For more details be sure to review the owner's manual and keep an eye out for more tech tips that go into deeper details on the input and output connections. Some takeaways to keep in mind are what type of control am I using and how do I need to power it? Am I trying to control the drive? That would be an input. Am I trying to monitor what the drive is doing? Output. When programming the input think how the drive should behave when it receives the signal. For the output what condition do I wish to monitor what the drive is doing? Thank you and have a great day.